Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be testing out three different palettes from Odin's Eye that are in collaboration with three different creators here on YouTube. First up, we have Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, and then we have the fancy face, Tina. I know both of them, but this beauty right here is new to me. Her name is Judy, and that's the name of her channel as well. I, <laughs> this is so funny to me. So I've never tried anything from Odin's Eye before, and I get, I get this PR box, and I'm thinking, okay, Tina had reached out to me to send me her palette, and I just thought it was, you know, just with her. And I'm looking, the very first one that I see is this one from Annette. And I was thinking, man, that really looks like Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. And I'm going through. The next one I see is Tina, and then I realize, oh, we've got a collaboration here because I wasn't given any information and I just, I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I didn't even know who she was collaborating with because Tina was the one that told me about it. And then this was a huge surprise and it was a very, very beautiful one because these palettes you guys are not going to be disappointed in. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of information. I don't have everything because I am pre-recording this. I do know that I'm putting this video up on the 20th. This is the day that the palettes release, 3 p.m. PST or 6 p.m. EST and they're going to retail for between $32 and $35 US but in euros they're $27.90. Now let's get into the palettes and what they come with because that's not just the palette that you're going to get when you order the palette. This one right here is Annette's and it is called Giant Wolves. I highly encourage you guys to check out each individual's channel, watch their reveal videos, find out what the inspiration is behind everything. I don't want to mention too much here. I just highly encourage you guys to go check them out and I will have them all linked in the description box. But this one is Giant Wolves from Annette. It has a sleeve on the front that matches the actual palette which I think is just so pretty. This feels like a textured cardboard. It's nicely weighted. It looks beautiful. I love, 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 love the artwork. The artwork is absolutely stunning on each of the palettes. I, they just did so much. I love that their faces are put on these palettes but in this just artistic, beautiful way. And of course, this one has the wolves and all the ingredients and everything are on the back of the sleeve, and then the names are on the back of this. They are cruelty-free, and let's open this one up. So here we have it. You do have a mirror on the inside, and each of these have a, I wanna say that they're duochrome. I'm not sure because, again, I don't have the information. Some of these might be pressed pigments as well. I don't know though. Again, I don't have all the information. All I can tell you is they are gorgeous. Let me go ahead and show you the swatches for Giant Wolves. Astral, Flare, Antipode, Annihilation, Skull, Desolate, Howling, Haiti, a Blaze, Cosmos, Eternal, and Azure. With each palette that you purchase, you also get a scarf. I wanted to wear one in the video today, but then I felt like I wouldn't be able to show you, so. This one is Annette's, and it matches her palette. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. And these feel so nice. They're nice and silky. They're nice quality. So I think that's really cool that they added that into it. Now, the fancy face, Tina. This is the Hummingbird palette. I have a special place in my heart for hummingbirds because of my non-biological father that passed away. He had a thing with hummingbirds. And when I saw this, it just really warmed my heart. I, I just love it. I love it. So here we have Tina, the beautiful hummingbirds. And then again, this is the sleeve. Let's take it out and open her up. That feels, sounds so weird. She's, let's open Tina up. <laughs> These are the shades that she chose. And of course the swatches, feathers, red hills, star apple, swallowtail, tropics, lagoon, hibiscus, beach sands, hummingbird, fancy, 
Blue Fields and Clear Blue. I love that she named the multi-chrome shade Fancy because it's just like, that's perfect. You really couldn't have done anything else. Fancy face and the best shade in the palette. I love all of the, I'm, I'm just gonna call them multi-chromes to, to me, that's what they all look like. Here's Tina's scarf with the hummingbird and her beautiful purple hair and the red lip. It's stunning. And then Judy. I did not know about Judy before this collaboration, but I do now. And oh my God, she is so good. I have subscribed now and yes, you guys should check her out as well. This is the Red Dragon palette. I just can't get over the faces. The faces are so beautiful. And this is the one that I am wearing today. And the shades are Sunrise, Solar Flare, Claw, Overheat, Jade, Luna, Amber, Yin, Serene, Fire, Aurora, and Dragon. And Judy's Scarf. Look, it's so fiery. They're so vibrant. You can really tell that they put so much effort into this collaboration. It is stunning it is something to get excited for that is for sure i mean just opening up the box seeing the artwork and then opening up each palette beautiful i mean i was i was blown away and i was also inspired they really bring out the artist in me i miss painting so much so it's so much fun to do on my eyes and these palettes just mm, 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 mm. wait till you see them in action i'm going to go ahead and start the three looks this one will be at the end and then I'll give you my two cents. Going in with the Giant Wolves palette and starting off with the Blaze on a Bristles Beauty EO2 RL. Starting on the outer corner, I'm gonna place that right on half of the lid here before bringing it into my crease and working slightly upward. Bringing it up a little higher on the outer transition area, tail of the brow area. And at the excess, I'm going to move inward, going in with just a tiny bit more. Next up on a refer 14, I'm taking the last shade with a little cute paw print on it, placing this directly into my crease. Back and forth windshield wiper motions. Not gonna have this lay down on the outer portion of my crease right down here. I only want it in the crease area. Circular motions to lightly blend upward. And that was one dip of that blue. So these are super pigmented. Same brush and the darker blue, Cosmos. Tapping this on the outer corner, I realized that this blue and the one in my crease might look pretty similar. But that's only because I took the lighter blue in with the pink. Had I just applied it on its own, then you would really see the difference. The shade that I will be applying on the lid, that shimmery shade, I want it to have a slight gradient as it goes over the darker shades, because I'm gonna add black on the very outer corner. Sonia G Mini Booster and Annihilation. This is the black, and I just want this on the very outer portion of the lid and crease. Isom W21 and Eternal. This is Pure Magic, my favorite shade in the palette. Not using it wet, just packing it on up to the crease making sure I get the most pigment on the front lid where there's no color. And then I'm gonna start bringing it over and it kind of creates this little shift as it goes over the blue and then the black. I'm using tapping motions where I apply it on the outer edge. Refer number three in Haiti. I am using this wet, dragging it all along the lash line, lower lash line. Refer 21 and astral, highlighting the brow arch. 
Same shade on a Lunar Beauty E7. Inner corner dragging down on the lower lash line. Azure on a Refer 23. Applying this to the front portion. Going over to the middle. About three quarters of the way over. Same brush and Annihilation, which is the black. Putting this on the very outer edge. And then I'm gonna go add on inner rim liner and mascara. For this look, I'm using the Hummingbird palette, and I'm gonna start off with Hibiscus on a Zoeva 227. I'm gonna start in the crease, and this shade is super pigmented. Like, you can get it to full opacity like it is in the palette. However, I don't want it to be that dark, so I will be blending it out quite a bit. But it's so pretty. It's just like, it's almost neon. I just love it so much. I'm going to add a little bit to the outer corner. And again, just working in the crease. Back and forth windshield wiper motions. And then softly blending upward. Getting towards the tail of my brow. Refer 14, Star Apple, applying this to the outer corner. I'm also applying it to the inner corner. And then I am going to start blending into the crease. Windshield wiper motions and then soft circular motions to blend upward, but not too high. Esum W21 and Hummingbird. I'm going to start packing this on the outer lid. I'm going to leave a little space on the center of the lid. Just a forewarning, you will get some fallout with this shade. So be careful if you already have your makeup done. I was able to wipe it away on my other eye, so I should be able to do the same on this eye. But i just like to let you guys know. I'm going to apply that to the inner corner as well. I want to make sure I'm going all the way up to the crease with this shade. Refer 21 and Fancy. I love this shade. This is like the magical shade that I used in the last palette. I don't remember the name of it, but these colors are so stunning. The other one was like a blue. This one is a pink. It has the most beautiful shift. I'm obsessed. I could have a palette full of just these types of shadows. I love them and they go on so nicely. Refer 21 and clear blue. I want to use just a little bit of this because it can be pretty pigmented. I have it on the inner corner of the other eye, but I want to use this at my brow arch and kind of highlight while also like blending out the edge of that pink shade. Going back in with Hummingbird on a number three from Refer. I am going to apply this to the lower lash line. I'm using it wet this time just because I want to. <laughs> but I find that it also helps because I already have my under eyes all set and everything. Tropics on a refer 23. This is even smaller than the number three. I'm applying this to the inner corner and dragging it along the lower lash line. I'm also using this shade wet. Then I'm going to start from the inner corner and take the shade upward. Kind of carving out the front of the crease. On a Royal and Lane Nickel BOM 48, I'm taking clear blue and I'm going to stamp this on the inner corner. This is the last thing I'm going to do before going and adding on inner rim liner 
and mascara, as well as a little bit of liner to the top lash line. Now for today's look, I'm using the Red Dragon palette, and I'm starting off with the shade Sunrise, once again on a Zoeva 227. I am having way too much fun with these palettes. I mean, I could use them all the time. I'm not kidding. They're so pretty. I'm just so impressed with all of them, and I'm impressed with the Odin's Eye formula. I really hope I just said that correctly. <laughs> I'm just sitting here second guessing myself. I've never used them before, and so this is my first experience. And so far, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I'm gonna build that up a little bit, and I'm bringing it up into the transition area, into the crease, and about three quarters of the way over. I will be putting another shade in the front portion of the crease, so I don't want to take this all the way in. Serene on a refer number 14. <laughs> I don't know why I giggle every single time something <laughs> rhymes, but I'm taking this on the inner corner of the crease and blending upward and meeting along right there with the last shade I laid down. Building it up just a little bit. I'm going to take that same brush and the shade Yin, and I am going to deepen up the crease. Again, I will be blending upward just a little bit on this front portion, but not as high as I took the last shade. I'm also placing Yin on my lower lash line with a refer number three. I'm gonna smoke this out. Bristles Beauty EO2 RL and Jade. I'm gonna pop that on the outer portion of my lid, the outer half, and work it up into the crease. I love how these shades play so well together. It's kind of like a, a watercolor painting. That's what it makes me think of. Claw on another refer 14. I'm going to deepen up this outer corner, outer lid space here. I'm doing it lightly first because I'm going to go in with another shade. I want to take this up into my crease and I'm going to add just a little bit of smokiness with this shade, bringing it upward. Mini Booster from Sonia G. I'm going to go in with Aurora. I'm placing this just on the very outer corner. Now for my favorite shade in the palette, Luna on a refer 28. Placing this all over the lid, going all the way up to the crease, tapping over the edge of the last shades. Refer 21 and overheat. I'm not picking up too much of this. Just want to buff it right at my brow arch and then outward for that sparkle. Solar Flare on a Bristles Beauty PO6 RF. I'm going to pop this on my inner corner. I'm kind of blending it down on the lash line and slightly upward into the last shade. So I want to incorporate that green from the outer corner to the inner corner. Lastly, I'm taking Claw on a refer number three, applying this to the outer three quarters. So like right where the green starts, I want that to kind of blend out. I don't want this to go across the entire lid. Then I'm just taking the excess from that brush and going right up against my lower lash line and I'll go add on inner rim liner and mascara. I finished off my eyes mascara. I have not Milk Boss liner, the Patrick Ta liner on my top inner rim. And then on the bottom, I actually went in with this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the duo liner and I used green lights just right on my lower waterline and I love this. It just looks like abstract and avant-garde but wearable still. Hmm. I love these palettes. I really don't have anything negative to say about this collection. I think this was thought through and through. This is my first time using anything from the brand, so I don't have anything to compare it against. But if this is their formula, it is 
good. And oh my gosh, the duochrome or multi-chrome shades that are in each of the palettes, because they all have one, they are beyond gorgeous. I was sitting there trying to figure out like which color I would put on my lids and stuff, and I remember touching, it was, it was Tina's first that I had touched. I was like, what is this magic? I'm gonna swatch all of them for you just on my fingers right now, so you guys can hopefully see the shift. This one is Judy's, and it's Luna. Can you guys see that? Do I need to drag it down? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It is so, so pretty. I'm just like in love with it. All right, let's get the others. Fancy from the Fancy Face. When I saw what this one looked like when I swatched it, do you see that? It's like blue, purple, a little bit of gold in there as well. I was like, get on my face right now. And then Annette's. It's the shade Eternal. And I love the sparkles too. Like they just, oh, they didn't miss the mark with anything. I love these. Oh, I need to put these all together. <laughs> I'm just so happy, so excited, so inspired. I just, I, can't, I have no words. I have no words. This is beautiful. You guys did an amazing job, all of you. I love all of the palettes. I am not picking a favorite because A, I don't think I could, and B, that's not nice. <laughs> they are all gorgeous. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the looks. If you had a favorite, please let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and make sure you check out everyone's channels. Again, linked in my description box. I love you, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.